April 3rd, and welcome to The Fix, your hookup with the latest in entertainment. Today and every Friday on The Fix, I'll give you my top five celebrity stories of the week. Coming in at number five this week, a countess is countless. Countess Luann de Lesseps, one of Bravo's Real Housewives of New York, has separated from Count de Lesseps after 16 years of marriage. Her publicist says the couple plan to remain friends, and their primary focus will be to do what is best for their two children. The Countess will retain her title, thus saving her from having to retitle her etiquette book, Class with the Countess, due out April 16th. At number four, Liam Neeson returned to Toronto for a couple of days last week to finish work on Chloe, the film he was shooting when his wife, Natasha Richardson, died March 18th after falling on a beginner slope at a Canadian ski resort. The actress was buried in upstate New York on March 22nd. Chloe, a thriller also starring Julianne Moore, wrapped last Saturday and is set for release sometime in 2009. At number three, after singer Natalie Cole told Larry King on Tuesday that she had been diagnosed with kidney filler at age 59, dozens of viewers wrote in offering to be tested as possible donors. With a kidney transplant, Cole would not have to be on dialysis for the rest of her life. Cole, the daughter of Nat King Cole, was diagnosed with hepatitis C in February 2008. At number two, for now, Madonna is still a mother of three. The pop star lost a bid Friday to adopt a second child from Malawi, as a judge said she would not bend the country's residency rules for the celebrity. Malawi requires prospective parents to live in the country for 18 to 24 months before adopting a child. This requirement was waived when Madonna adopted her now three-year-old son David in 2006. The pop star's lawyer has filed notice he will appeal the decision. Madonna has two other children in addition to David, Lori's 12 and Rocco 8. And at number one, it was a sad week in the Whedonverse. Andy Hallett, who portrayed fan favorite good guy demon Lauren on the Buffy the Vampire Slayer spinoff Angel, died Sunday of congestive heart failure at 33. Hallett, who'd been battling a heart condition for five years, moved to LA at age 23 and eventually became an assistant to Buffy creator Josh Whedon's wife. It was when Whedon saw Andy perform karaoke that he had him audition for Angel. He snagged the role of Lauren, a show tune loving red horned demon who ran a karaoke club and read a person's aura when they sang. Hallett was diagnosed with a heart condition after the show was canceled in 2004. Andy, an only child, is survived by his father and mother, as well as a host of Whedonverse fans, including myself. That's my list. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out Fast and the Furious in Adventureland this weekend. I'm Heather Bremer for the Herald Bolton, and now you've got your fix.